Well, good morning. It's uh, before dawn. I'm at uh, Porcupine Creek Trailhead, and uh, we're going to be heading up to Indian Rock today. And that is in the Yosemite National Park. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Beautiful day, clear skies, uh, 57 degrees right now. Uh, a little bit warmer than I would expect uh, this time of year. It's uh, September, what the heck is it? September 7th. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this hike and uh, hopefully I can get into the activation zone. Everything I read about it looks like uh, even I can do it. So I'm gonna get the pack out and uh, get cracking here. Okay, uh, just one other note, if you tuned in for drone shots, I'm pretty sure that drones are not allowed up here, so uh, me publishing drone shots uh, <laughs> from the park would not be cool. Uh, they're not allowed in uh, Inyo National Forest either, so kind of odd, but that's close. The park is open, and uh, all right, here we are at the trailhead. So um, yeah, let's get cracking. Okay, the sun still hasn't popped up over the mountain yet. Um, it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day, man. Uh, don't smell any smoke. It might be a little bit hazy, but uh, lucked out being able to come up here and do some hiking. Uh, whether we make the summit or not, it's going to be a great hike today. So, yeah. Looking forward to it. I got my hood up not to keep the sun out, but just a little bit nippy up here. But it's going to get warm. It's going to get up to probably 80 today. Um, so we'll get this done. And uh, maybe we can get some shots of the uh, Yosemite Falls later on today. That'd be awesome. One of the nice things about getting up here before the sun comes up, it's quiet. <laughs> Everybody else is still in their bags. So, yeah. Also, no lines at the uh, at the gate to get into the park. That can kind of get gnarly, even though you need reservations. Uh, you know, I guess people try to come up anyway. So, you got to wait behind them as they work it out. All righty then. I'm about a mile in and uh, we're at the bottom of the uh, the uh, profile here. I'll throw the chart right here. And uh, so yeah, pretty easy gump coming down, that's for sure. It'll be a bit of a slog going up, but really not much incline at all. Still headed down into the valley here, so I just crossed over a river, river bad. Um, so, looks like I got some more downhill to do before we start up. I think all of the uphill is in the last, <laughs> probably in the last mile, the way it always works out. We'll get our workout. Whew! This is awesome to be up here. Not another living soul. Okay, when it's dead quiet and then you hear a big crash, it definitely wakes you up. Might have some wildlife out here. Okay, um, looks like I'm in a little saddle. I believe uh, Indian Rocks that way. Well, I'm pretty sure it's that way. Here's the sign. I'll take a look at the chart in a minute. We're uh, three miles in, so we got 0.3 to go, looks like. <sighs> Absolutely gorgeous. Really, just a fantastic hike to this point. Um, just this last little 
quarter mile is the only really decent uphill I've had so far. So, um, yeah, just absolutely perfect. Um, wouldn't be any fun if it was 90 up here, but I'm guessing it's around 60 something. I don't know. So anyway, mountain not going to activate itself. <laughs> Best get cracking. All right, uh, coming up here, uh, got a great view of Half Dome. So beautiful, beautiful. Coming up to Indian Arch, wait till you see that baby. Check this out. This is one of the few granite arches in the world. Uh, most arches, uh, there's m many, uh, they're all sandstone. So, but this is a granite arch. So fairly well known. A lot of people come up here and turn around and go over to North Peak or something, North Dome. Um, we're gonna continue on, but uh, well, coming around the corner and seeing the arch, whew, what a stunning, I mean, this makes a hike so far. It's just been incredible. Uh, of course, getting here in the morning with the uh, side lighting is gonna be, <laughs> it's epic. It's absolutely epic. So, yeah, I'm gonna grab a few more pictures here and uh, then we'll head up. Wow, this is just so awesome. All right. Well, okay, there she is, uh, Indian Rock. I think we're in the activation zone now. Uh, we gotta be within 80 feet of the summit there. <laughs> um, no reason to go to the very tippy top there, but I'm gonna go up the side there ensure that I'm in the AZ. Um, this has been a class one hike. Just gorgeous, perfect uh, for a little day outing, 3.4 miles or something like that. So just, just, yeah, we're gonna get some great views today too. Um, so yeah, let's get going here. This is, I'm stoked, I'm really stoked. Okay, pretty easy coming up here. Just one scramble, little scramble here. Uh, looks like I can lay on that to root there. So, yeah, almost at the summit here. Definitely in the AZ. You gotta love it. I thought I was in the AZ or on the Indian Rock. It turns out it's right over there in the tree through the trees. So we're gonna head over there real quick. But uh, this whole area may be uh, within the AZ. So, uh, yeah, just just some spectacular views so far. So I'm gonna scramble over these uh, these rocks down here and uh, see what I can do. Rock. So I'm gonna check out and see how steep that face is. Um, pretty sure I'm in the AZ it could activate here. So I'm not gonna push it. Especially since I have to come down that. Oh, there's a little window in there too. Uh, yeah, another window, that's cool. Go check that out. I'll, uh, ooh, yeah. Wow, really nice. Might be able to go up the left side here and then go up the ridge. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is pretty, uh, pretty simple here. Uh, incline. Um, just come right up this face here. Uh, and uh, then we'll go up the ridge. So, yeah, this is this is the ticket here. Coming up the west side of this thing. Cute little tree coming out the rocks. And one sticking out there. That was a bit of a climb. Um, kind of in between some rocks up here. I'm trying to figure out my operating position on the summit. I mean, I could get up there, but it's a tippy top, but no reason for me to uh, take any more risk. Oh, man, what an awesome view. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Look at the way the light lights that up. Time to get the camera out. Brought the camera up today. My uh, little uh, X-T3. Oh, yeah, 
See, this is why I need to wear gloves. I'm bloody now. All right. Get some pictures. There's Half Dome over there, I believe. Had to heck of a wall. All right, there's my pole. Stuck it in some rocks up there. Coming down to my operating position in the shade. I want to have shade long, so I best get cracking here. See if I can do some chasing. Let's get on the air. CQ, 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 this is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Someone's on the air at Whiskey 6, Sierra Sierra 313. CQ, 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 this is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Calling CQ, CQ, CQ for Summits on the Air. Any station, anywhere. Whiskey 7 Hotel, Oscar. Whiskey 7 Hotel, Oscar, got you 5959 five, on the summit. Roger, roger, you're on the 5555 into Oregon, over. QSL, QSL, that's uh, Whiskey 7 Hotel, Oscar. Uh, yeah, sounds great. Thanks for the contact. 73, Chris. All right, Ronnie, have a good day. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, Summit's on the air. Kilo 6, Mike, Whiskey. Kilo 6, Mike, Whiskey. Kilo 6, Mike, Whiskey, got you about a 5-5-5-5. Five, 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 five. Thanks for the 5-5. Five, five. You're about 4-4 four, four in eastern Washington by Spokane, over. QSL, QSL, great contact. Uh, thanks for the signal report and have an awesome day. Thank you for the activation. QSL, November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie on India Mountain. Uh, summit's on the air. November 0, Whiskey Alpha Echo. Alrighty, I got a November 0, Whiskey Alpha Echo. Hey, Eric, uh, thanks for the contact. Got you 5 9 up here. Yeah, thank you for the 5 9. Uh, you are 4 3 43 uh, today into Montana. Okay, 43. Well, I'll take it, man. Uh, have an awesome day, and thanks for the contact. Ah, uh, you came up. Uh, you came up uh, to a 5 3. Uh, must be a little fading going on today. Yeah, there's definitely a little bit of fading. I was over on CW. It was a little tough, but uh, having a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for the contact, man. All righty, and uh, thank you for the activation. 73. All righty, 73. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Hello, 5, Alpha, Papa, Delta. Alpha, Papa, Delta, go again. So this is Kilo 5, Alpha, Papa, Delta. Kilo 7. Okay, I got a. Uh, okay, I got a kilo five alpha papa delta, and I got you at about a five seven five seven. Uh, QSL, you're about a five four five four. Here in New Mexico, November Mike. Uh, the name is Jim Juliet India Mike. Awesome. Thanks for the contact, Jim. Up here doing soda summits on the air, and uh, well, having a good time up here in uh, Yosemite National Park. 
Roger, Roger. I woke up and you were coming in strong and you kind of faded just now, though. And, but you have a good one, 73. Alrighty, 73, Jim. Thanks for the contact. November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Okay, I got a Kilo 8 Lima Juliet Golf. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie, and I got you 5959 five studio quality here. All right, QSL, Kilo 8 Lima Japan Germany. You're 3 by 3, 3 by 3, Michigan, over. QSL, QSL, thanks for the 3 by 3 in Michigan, and uh, have an awesome day. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. Epic. Um, 31, 37 contacts up here. CW and sideband worked uh, 20 meters, 40 meters, 17 uh, meters, and uh, really had a great time. Perfect weather. It's, I don't know, right now it's six, between 65 and 70. Um, it's going to get warm. It's going to warm up, but um, yeah. So now that I... Uh, Cut my hands up on the granite here. I think I'll put my gloves on because, you know, cut your hands first, then put the gloves on. <sighs> I'm not a smart man. Anyway, yeah, we're going to head down now. And uh, it was great. I'll tell you, the class one hike all the way to maybe the, the base of this big rock here. And um, maybe, you know, class two, 2.5. Trying to scramble up this stuff. Um, it wasn't that hard. I mean, it's you get good rubber. It, Good handhold, it's not slick. So, um, but if you do slip, you're gonna end up bloody. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm gonna see if I can get down the other side of this little. Uh, uh, looks like a dragon's back here. So if you come down the um, south side, um, come up. Initially, come up on the kind of the southeast side. Come up around and then. Um, then head northeast, you can make it up to the, pretty much you can get up to the summit, you can crawl up there. Crump, getting up to the rock is a little bit of a, a rock climb. Um, I'm not gonna, I didn't operate from there obviously, but um, I think I could have done it no problem. Um, although I didn't really see the point in it, especially being up here by myself. So I'm being a little bit more cautious, but yeah, epic hike. Um, and all I gotta do is come down to this, and we're out of here. All right. I think this is North Peak, North Dome, or something like that. I don't think it's Half Dome. Um, I think that's what I said earlier, but uh, yeah. Incredible. Granite Peaks around here. Um, by the way, you shouldn't have to, I don't think you need to get up to the top of this, where I was, to activate. I think it's within the AZ that is within 80 feet to the top so you should be able to do it no problem like I said class one if they say class two is off off trail then okay class two because this little section right here is class two as you steer toward the mountain but uh, the rest of it's trail pretty easy going Okay, you guys are from New York, right? Yeah. Awesome. How long are you up for? Till Friday. Till Friday? Yeah, it's nice. Sweet. Awesome. And uh, nice your name? Time. I'm Lenny. Lenny? I'm Isabella. Isabella? Sophia. Sophia? Beth? Nathan. Beth and Nathan. All right. Well, you're going to be on HamNinja.com videos. <laughs> 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 so. I like your picture. Chris, right? Yeah. That's a great shot of you. That's a nice picture. Yeah, you can't get a bad one of me. So what is SOTA? What is that? It was really cool for me because I'm up here by myself and I really wanted a picture um, in that arch. So um, ran into those folks and he offered to get a picture of me. 
I took some of him and his family and I'll email them over. So hopefully that works out good for both of us. I'm pretty stoked about that because it's a, it's a, one of the more memorable places up here for sure. I mean, you know, my first day up here, this is like epic. So, all right. We're just a class one trail all the way back. Easy peasy. Um, half dome next year. So I don't have a permit. Need reservations and all that stuff. So, wish I was doing it tomorrow. I'm definitely in shape for it. Alrighty then. I'm back at the parking lot, which is full. I was the only one here this morning. Um, I'd say the hardest part of this trip is going from that little stream down there to the car. You gotta climb 250 feet. So it's a kind of a thigh burner over, I don't know, maybe a mile. So anyway, um, fantastic, epic, spectacular, great hike. Um, soda Poda, we'll call it Spoda from now on. Today was Spoda. Summit's on the air and, and uh, Park's on the air. Anyway, um, great time, beautiful country, beautiful day, just clear skies, no wind. Um, I'd love to have a little breeze right now, but uh, yeah. So that wraps it up. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, for watching this far and uh, if you're interested in learning more about the hobby go to hamninja.com slash SOTA360 SOTA360 and uh, I did a four-part series on activating some other stuff on chasing and and uh, CW skills and you know so check them out um, if you're if you're interested and uh, don't forget hit that like and subscribe so my ego gets even bigger <laughs> All right, uh, until next time, which is possibly tomorrow, we're going to go up, uh, ah, shoot, Dana, that's a 13,000 foot one right over here, and then Gaylor after that, so we got a few more summits to do here in the park, and uh, I'm going to go into uh, Yosemite Valley there and uh, check out El Cap and Half Dome and all that stuff, be a tourist, and uh, maybe grab some lunch if it's not too expensive. I made a made a peanut butter and jelly uh, <laughs> just in case because that's really cheap and it's tasty too so anyway thanks for watching have an awesome day guys okay mail call um so my first one uh, i got three here first one is from wb0 usi uh rick up in uh, mesquite nevada and uh, he says uh, he was running a KX3, 15 watts. We we're uh, communicating on 60 meter. And he was going into an NFED random wire. That's probably what I was using as well. And uh, I was up at St. Peter's Dome in Arizona. And uh, he was over on Seek Miller in Arizona. So that's pretty cool. Thanks for the uh, really cool card, uh, Rick. I appreciate it. Next one up is a cool design from uh, Mike, CAN6EZE. Uh, strikes again so um, I was on Black Mountain which is the one north of Ramona and uh, he was over on Arctic Point uh, running his QCX at 5 watts uh, into a link dipole so uh, we got it done and let's see what were we on we must have been on probably oh 40 meters so he built a little 40 meter QCX very cool love the card Mike and thanks for sending it um, if I haven't sent one to you yet Expect one in the mail soon. And last but not least is KG6MZS. Uh, he's in lives in Topanga, California. And uh, oh, let's see. He was going into uh, well. He was he was on Arctic Point as well. Um, I was over on Baden Powell that day. Uh, cold day in April on top of the mountain up there. And uh, we got a QSO via um, our HTs. So. Uh, that was pretty cool, and uh, uh, I like the card, Eric. I appreciate it, man. Uh, I'll get one out to you as well. 
So there you go. There's mail call for this uh, for this session. Let's cut on back. Oh, let's roll the credits. 